Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to all my lovely regular viewers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So I have to apologize that I haven't been doing any videos for the past week or so, but these are my war wounds. Look, oh my goodness, I've blisters, I have my nails off. So we took full advantage of the good weather and we decided to paint the outside of our house. So I have all my nails off because we've still a few bits and pieces still to do but those of you who follow me on my Instagram you probably saw my story that um, I was painting in my super long nails so yes I did it for three days and then I just couldn't get right into the corners properly so I've taken them all off and um, we hopefully will get everything finished very very shortly but I just thought I had to do a video for you guys um, so I thought I would do a lovely pastel spring pastel summery set and to show you as well just some of the new products that I have to purchase on my website and of course as usual all the products I'm going to be using are from Glitter Bells so it's all the pastel colours I'm using blue pastel, pink pastel, green pastel and lemon sorbet and I do bring in um, diamond veil as well um, further into the video so I am using um, one of the brushes that I have in my collection and this one is the size 12 I believe and um, so I had been using a size 16 and I just thought I would just change it up a little bit because I have been used to um, always using a size 12 so I thought I would give it a go. So I'm starting off, this is a really really soft ombre, it's a really, um, ombre with pastel colours is super super easy. So the way I've done it, I've sort of went from the darkest, which is the blue pastel, right up to the pink pastel I'm going to have as the nail bed area. And I just think that they ombre really, really well. So this is the green pastel, which is a new one to me. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, it's such a, a pretty, pretty colour. And I do love how they ombre. It's so good. So all the nails are going to be an ombre. And then I'm going to do some um, nail art and some stickers on top. So in with the pink pastel now and I'm just placing that just before the cuticle area. I'm patting it in around the cuticle and then I'm going to blend it in to the rest of that acrylic. And I just think that it gives a really, really nice um, nail bed colour as well. So I am going to be capping all these nails in glass slippers because they are an ombre. They're not just a straight colour, which if it was a straight colour, I normally just leave them um, as they are. And I actually apply the acrylic as I would as if they were a core powder. So moving on now to the ring finger and I'm just going to change it up a little bit and do this ombre diagonally, did I say that right, <laughs> diagonally instead of just blending them um, sort of one on top of another. Just as I'm doing the voiceover on this colour and I've just seen the two colours, the, um, the green pastel and the blue pastel, and I'm kind of thinking how lovely would that be, just those two colours on a shorter nail, I think that would be really really pretty. Oh my goodness, please please don't make any comments about the state of my nails, I, <laughs> because I've taken all the acrylic off, well I took most of it off and as you can see I've kind of picked the rest of it off but hopefully um, I will get all my nails back on by the end of this week.
So I'm just adding a tiny bit more of the lemon sorbet and the green pastel. I kind of think they got lost in a little bit of that ombre. So I just wanted to bring them out a little bit more. So just going in and adding a little bit extra has just made all the difference. I hope um, where you all live, you've been able to enjoy the bank holiday weekend and all the beautiful weather that we've been having. Um, hopefully the next spot of good weather we have, I'll be able to enjoy it instead of painting, but it is so nice to be able to do work outside of the house and not have to be hopped up in all, you know, your winter gear. It was just so nice and to be out in the fresh air and a bit of heat while you're working as well, especially in Northern Ireland. It's, it doesn't happen very, very often. So it was great that um, we were able to get it done this week. So back on to the, or back on to, back to, no, it's not back at all. <laughs> it's on to, oh, I must be in my funny half hour. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so on to the middle finger and I'm going back in with the same ombre pattern that I did on the little finger. Um, and then on the pointer finger, I'm going to go ahead and do the same as I did on the ring finger. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my funny half hour <laughs> and let you watch the rest of this acrylic application and then I'll be back before the end.
Moving on to the thumbnail and I absolutely love using this hand because everything is so flexible, it's so soft, it's so easy to um, move it about and to use um, the thumbnail as well. There's no having to like strain against the, you know, the rigidness of the hand. Um, I just, I'm absolutely in love with this hand. It's a hand that I'm trialing, um, so it hasn't been um, fully, you know, is it, am I going to release it or am I not? I just want to try and work with it a little bit more and just see um, how it holds up with all the filing and um, stuff like that as well. Because anything that I want to bring out, I want to make sure that it's going to hold up against. Because, you know, the hands, they do take quite a bit of abuse because I hold my hands up. I probably file on my hands and my practice hands a hell of a lot more than what I would if it was on a client. <laughs> because you know they're not going to kick you from under the table and um, you can just do it a little bit harder and faster. One of the other things I love about this hand, you know, I've used so many different hands over the past year or so, and um, what I like about this one is I can actually glue in my base tip as well, because some of the other hands that you get, um, when it comes to filing the nails, they slip out and you have to keep, you know, pushing them back in, but because I can um, have the choice of gluing in my base tip and then putting my extension tip on top of that um, it just means whenever I come to file it or you know take photographs that they're not going to move about they're going to stay um, in place so that's just another thing you know and it's really really easy to remove it um, I probably will do a video about this um, you know later on down the line but um, at the minute yes I'm just trialing this hand I'm putting it through its paces I'm being as rough as I can with it just to um, see how it holds up. So now that I've got all the pastel ombre done, I'm going to go in with this Diamond Veil from Glitter Bells. It's a really, really soft, it's it's a really faint um, glitter and I just think it, it adds like a little iridescent shine to this. So on the little finger, middle finger and um, the thumb, I think, I'm going to do a full coverage of this. It's it's almost like a glittery top coat. It's really, really faint. And then on the, the fingers that I did the diagonal ombre, I'm going to just put it in little lines going down that diagonal um, on those nails.
So now that I've got all that diamond feel on the nails, I'm going to go ahead and cap them all in the glass slippers. So I'm only going to show the little finger being capped as they're all capped in exactly the same way. And I just want to keep the length of the video down for you guys. So I am also going to do all the filing and shaping off camera which will give me more time then to go through the nail art. Um, so this is what I want to show you, so I'm so excited. So these are the nail arts, just some of the nail art stickers. This is my butterfly collection that I have available on my website. So these um, per piece, they're £1.50 and um, they're available now on my website. So I will pop the link down below. Um, those little tweezers will also be going up as well um, and they're perfect for getting them off the little um, sheets. So the ones that I'm using is the Multi Butterfly and um, they come in all different colours in all different sizes on the one sheet. So there's quite a few on there so they should last you for a good number of sets. So I thought that as this um, multi butterfly sheet has got um, all the different colours of butterflies on it, I thought it would be perfect to have different colours of butterflies on each nail. Um, of all the colours that I've used, so I'll have blue butterflies, pink butterflies, green butterflies and yellow. So the sheets, um, they're not water decals, they are stickers, so they are self-adhesive. So I will be going over the nails with a gel top coat, the same as I would as if, if they were water decals as well. And of course, for each colour of butterfly there is on the sheet, they also come in the different sizes as well. So it's perfect um, for working on smaller nails as well as the larger nails. So now that I've got all those little butterfly stickers on, I'm going to go in with some white nail art paint and I'm just going to paint some fluffy clouds. The easiest way that I have found to do these little clouds is to use a dotting tool and to kind of mark out the, um, the top of your cloud with your dotting tool. So you're going to do like the fluffy bits of your cloud. And then once I have that on, I'm going to go in with a nail art brush and I'm just going to start to fade out the underneath of those dots just to fade it out as if it's, um, you know, really, really fluffy. The little nail art brush that I'm using today is just, I think it's a size five um, acrylic brush. Um, that I just think it's really, really soft and it's great for just um, fading out the bottom of those little clouds. So I'm going to be quite brave and I'm not going to cure these in between because normally I'm really, really, um, 
I, I smudge them all the time basically <laughs> but, but um, I'm going to be brave and I'm going to um, try and do all the nails and then cure them all together. So you can see kind of in the, you know, in the rest of the screen, just some of the little butterfly um, stickers that I have. When you go on the site, there's a few other different ones. There's a few summery ones and there's a really, really gorgeous ones for um, gender reveals and baby showers, which are so cute. So I'm going to put the link to um, my Instagram is already in there. I do believe my website is in there, but I am going to put a link to the actual page of all the nail art stickers in the description box below. So I'm going to let you swatch um, me do the rest of these clouds and then I will come back just before the end.
so here is the finished set guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have you know what to do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel you could go ahead and help support my channel by hitting that subscribe button too and if you also hit the little notification bell you'll not miss any more of my videos and i will be back with another one so take care see you soon bye